goodness guys, I don't have time to look pretty. Welcome to uh, day three of daily vlogs right now. Uh, as you can see, I am whipping up some eggs right now because this episode is basically just going to be what do you eat in a day, Derek? And it's also going to be a Q&A. But I just kind of wanted to show you, and I thought it'd be cool to just like not just make this a Q&A. I want to like show you a meal that I eat a lot, actually, once or twice a day, this exact meal, and why it helps me. So, and what it helps me do. So, oh God, that's already smoking, as you can see. Not smoking, but yeah, here we go. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna let that cook and then I'll come back to you guys in a second, okay? I want you all to myself. Don't wanna share you with nobody else. So give me something to believe. Will you promise me? Will you promise? Oh my gosh, okay guys, I want to apologize for the way I look, I just woke up, but that's, I kind of guess that I'm just going through my daily routine with you guys. I just made eight eggs, four whole ones, and four egg whites, but we're not done yet, so I'm going to leave that there, and I'm going to cook some toast, well, because that's really easy, everybody knows how to cook toast and eggs, or I feel like they should at least, so I'll come back when that is finished, and I'll explain some more stuff, okay? All right, guys, here's the food. Um, shoot. <clears throat> All right, so basically, oh my gosh, I do honestly apologize again for the way I look. But listen, that is one of the easiest meals that you can possibly make. It is two pieces of toast with butter. I put salt and hot sauce on my eggs. This entire meal takes less than 10 minutes or about 10 minutes to make yourself so I hate when people are like oh I don't cook or oh I can't cook or whatever excuse they come up with literally it takes zero time and almost zero effort like honestly you can play on your phone the whole time you're doing it so like I, there's zero excuses I eat this like at, at least once a day sometimes twice a day if I feel lazy and I don't want to cook chicken because eggs are great your body absorbs 80 to 100 percent of them and as a bodybuilder or power lifter, whatever you are, I would think that you want to do that. So uh, I usually eat this and I pair it up like 30 minutes after I eat it or an hour after I eat it, I drink a protein shake. And um, yeah, but now that you guys have seen kind of uh, what I eat a lot, that's just one of the meals. Let me know if you guys want to see more meals in the future. I just kind of wanted to throw this in there, see what you guys thought. But uh, I'm going to get cleaned up after I eat this and then uh, do the Q&A part. So I'll see you guys then. Welcome to the Q&A part of this video. Okay, um, I'm gonna start off by just saying I'm gonna answer as many of these questions as I can, but I wanna give legitimate answers, so I don't just wanna give like short answers to these questions. So if I go off like on a little spree on a question, don't get mad at me. First one is, what is the best split? Um, I would be stupid if I said that there was a best split. Um, there's there's a lot of reasons for a lot of the different um, movements you do and the reasons that you do them and the amounts that you do them, etc. My split that I am on currently, that I, this hasn't been what I've been on the whole time because I've, I've experimented with um, a, a couple other splits, but the one I'm doing right now is back by chest try legs split. Probably one of the most simple splits that you'll ever um, come across, uh, but that I, it works for me right now because I get to hit all of my push muscles in one day, all my pull muscles in one day, and then my legs in one day. So I get to do everything. But if you're looking for a little bit more diversity and something that doesn't take as long in a workout, try, you should try um, like, I'm trying to remember how this started out. You, you start with um, chest day. So like these are all should be like 45 minute workouts if you're by yourself, if you're gonna do this split, I'm about to explain. Chest day, back day, arm day, leg day, shoulders. There's your five day week right there, boom. And then just repeat that. Um, 
yeah, so that's the first question, and I don't know if you got anything out of that, but that's just my personal opinion on the way that it goes and what types of individuals could use it. Are you bodybuilding naturally? Any plans to move to steroids for quicker or muscle gain? Steroids scared the shit out of me, guys, and I I know that, like, I get it if you, um, I've seen a lot of people do them, like, Brandon Harding, you know, obviously he's big in the fitness industry and he's doing them and he's getting good results and he's being smart about it and he's explained himself doing it. But dude, they scare the shit out of me. I don't want to, I, I literally don't want to be broken at any point. Like my, and this is going to sound stupid, but I seriously don't want to have any issues with my like penis. Okay. And I, I know if you do them right and stuff that, that, that won't happen. But dude, honestly, there's just... No, I don't plan on moving to steroids for, no, they scare the shit out of me, like I said. Um, how many days do you train legs per week? Oh, I train them twice a week. That's where I found the most comfortable and that's where I found the most muscle gain in the legs is twice a week. That is a definite proven fact that, um, at least for me, for me. Now, all the stuff I say in this video, by the way, you can quote me on it, but Remember, I'm not like a actual certified professional. I just, I've done a lot of research on some of this stuff. So, uh, do you do you clean bulk or dirty bulk? Okay, well, and I got all these questions off my uh, Instagram questions thing. So, by the way, but clean bulk or dirty bulk? I personally agree more with the clean bulk side of things if you have my metabolism okay um well actually no no retract that my metabolism my metabolism is fast so now that i'm thinking about what i do eat i eat a lot of clean stuff in a day as you saw like i eat a lot of eggs and i eat a lot of um toast i eat a lot of chicken beef um, I drink a lot of milk, you know, etc. I have, you know, I have a lot of ton of vegetables too and fruit. But I also I go ham on pop tarts. I go, I literally, uh, I'll mess up a gas station after, like literally after Austin and I work out or something. We'll, we'll just go to the gas station and I will wreck that place. Honestly, nothing healthy like Snickers, trash. Okay, I might get a protein shake, but. If you have my metabolism, dirty bulk works in the same way that a clean bulk would with someone with a slower metabolism. So if you have a slower metabolism, you know it, you're naturally a little bit heavier set person, don't go mess up some gas stations after the gym with your friends. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of keep it under control. But for me, personally, I found out that I gain better and quicker and whatnot with dirty bulk. And I feel so small right now. I have no pump. How did you get so big so fast? Juice, naturally, let me know the secret, please. All right, the secret, and this is gonna be gross <clears throat> for some of you. For some of you, it might not even be a, a problem, but for me, this is, <clears throat> this is where I struggle. Force feeding. You have to eat so much food in a day, like so much protein. You don't even, it, it's not comfortable for me, the amount that I'm supposed to take in in order to grow. And how I get big naturally quick is because you have to look up your maintenance calories, your macros, all that stuff. And, and I know that it sounds stupid when people say, oh, I'll track all that stuff. The reason you need to track it is because you need to have a starting point to know, okay, this is where I am now, and if I change it and I eat more, I'll look like this, and if I change it and I'll eat less, I'll look like this. And you're right here in the middle. So you just have to understand food as a spectrum, not as something that you get to do for fun. Like when I look at food now, and this is kind of depressing, when I look at food now, I'm like, oh my gosh, I think of it in numbers. Like I think, okay, this is this many grams of protein, this is this many grams of carbs, even when I'm not supposed to, like when I'll go out to eat or something. So that's how I got big. Um, I don't even think I'm big, first of all. I'm gonna clarify that. There's, I am not big. I'm just, I'm thick for a natural. I have full muscle bellies, but I am not big. Um, let's see what this next one is. What first motivated you and do you have any tips for uh, someone who is starting this new year? Okay, 
What first motivated me to start bodybuilding? Okay, I've told this story a ton of times, but for the people who are new to my channel, it was a girl. It was a girl. And um, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, if you're gonna start bodybuilding because of a girl, it will not work. It will not work. I swear to you, because I, I literally, I, I don't tell people this, but I started going to the gym um, three years ago. I've only been working out for two and a half years, but I started going to the gym three years ago, and then I quit for six months, and I had to restart for the right reasons, but the original reason I wanted to get into bodybuilding and start it was because of a girl. Now, the reason that I fell in love with it was because I saw gains, okay, and I'm gonna tell you guys this, anybody who's a beginner watching this video, okay, you, shit, okay, so yeah, you are gonna go through a three week period where you're not gonna see any gains, or it could be more or less, honestly. You're, well, you're gonna go through a three week period, at least this is what happened for me, and this isn't like exact science. Where you don't see any gains, all you're doing is going to the gym, putting in hard work, sweating a lot, you've, you're sore, you, you your body constantly feels beat up, and you're not going to see any results. And then that third week peaked, and that was about where I was about to give up, honestly. I wouldn't even be sitting here on this YouTube channel if I wouldn't have just said, screw it, I'm going to be harder than the system. You are gonna see gains or shreds or whatever you're looking for, and for me it was gains. I saw my first first tricep definition, and I was like, "What? This is so cool! Can I keep doing this? Like, can I keep seeing results like this? This is so cool!" And that's what got me motivated is results. Now you have to be like literally a hard ass at the beginning because. It sucks. It is. It's hard for for a while there at the beginning. I'm not gonna lie. How tall are you? And has height helped you build muscle quicker? Absolutely, it has. Because I am not tall. I'm I'm five eight, and I wouldn't change it if I could. Actually, yes, I would. That's kind. Of, I'm a little insecure about it. But I'm five eight, and um, yeah, it, it's definitely helped me build muscle quicker. At least have like a thicker. Look, gosh, I am I am on such a bulk right now. You guys don't even have, you guys don't even know. But yes, height has helped me. I'm five eight, and I weigh 175 pounds in the morning. Do you go to the gym while traveling? I try to. I genuinely try to. And I will say that um, working out when you're traveling isn't is is not going to be as good as when you're sound and at home and where you can you know go to and um be comfortable at if that makes sense so yeah i do work out when i travel okay i'm only gonna i'm gonna do two more of these because i've been talking forever <laughs> any remedies for soreness that's a good one because actually yes um Remedies for soreness guys a lot. I I know I told I can't remember in, in an older video I said take cold showers because they help wake you up in the morning blah, blah blah and like it's a health thing I Like taking cold showers and stuff, but I don't like it. Okay, only psychopaths actually enjoy it <laughs> but what I will say is hot showers really 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 hot showers like <clears throat> after after a hard back day, like this is what I did literally last night, like after the video you guys watched, um, I would just sit there and let that water hit me in the back, hot as crap. Like it has to be like more hot than you're comfortable with, like the kind of hot to where it like hits your back and you're like, ow, that's hot. Keep it like that. And then I promise you, it, it helps so much, dude. All right, one more question. One more question, guys. Thank you all for participating. We have time for one more because I've been talking a lot on my time for like 10 minutes. How often do you do abs? Yeah, right there. Focus, girl. How often do you do abs? Okay. That's actually a good question. Um, 
because I do app now, like if you've been watching my videos, if, if not and you're new here, I'm gonna explain it. But if you've been watching my videos, you know I've been doing abs every single workout, every single workout for the last about three weeks now. And I, I have seen, like I can't even believe that my abs look the way they do at this point on the bulk because I, I've since this summer at the peak of that shred, well, yeah, at the peak of that shred that I did, in the summer, like at the middle of July around, I was 157 pounds. And now, at the end of the day, I'm almost 180. So, definitely, definitely can't believe that my abs still look the way they do. They don't look the way they do when I was shredded, but dude, come, come on now. Like, that that's, that's crazy. Abs every day. And what do I do for abs? You guys see me in my videos. I, I love doing like the hanging things like where you grab the top of the pull-up bar, you know, and you hang and then you like raise your legs up straight like that. So yeah, that was the worst <laughs> demo of that ever, but that's what I do for abs. I do that every day that I work out. Like today's rest day, so I'm not doing anything, but Every single day that I work out, I put 15, you, I try for 20 minutes at the end of every single workout to do abs and I, and I put in work. Like honestly, it's hard, but it is so worth it, dude, because you'll see, you'll, you'll literally feel like I can feel my abs. Like, you know, I have like this layer on top of them. Like I still have abs and you can see that, but I have like this layer on top of them that's like super obvious that's there. And that's just part of the bulk, okay? And that's not dirty bulking because look, I still have them. No pump, nothing, still have veins. So I'm not getting fat on this bulk. I said that earlier, guys, come on. It, <laughs> but listen, train abs, train abs. Every time you work out, do it because they're a muscle that is a volume style training muscle. So you just gotta hit them hard uh, consistently. So uh, yeah, that's how I train abs. Thank you guys for the questions. I don't have time for any more of these. I've been talking for longer than you probably even wanna sit here listening to, but if you've made it this far in the video, thank you for watching episode three. Oh my God, I almost did that. Episode three of the daily vlogs. I. You know, if you're new here at this point, I why not subscribe? I'm Derek Martin, the all-natural bodybuilder. I do fitness vlogs and all kinds of stuff like this. Uh, I just, I genuinely just ha try to have fun with everything that I do. <clears throat> I've switched it up lately, and these daily vlogs, I wasn't even gonna record today. Like after I film this, I'm just gonna go edit it. But yeah, so think about that. That's this a little. T I'm gonna say this tiny little bit of motivation, and let me know. Some of you older subscribers who hear me go on motivational rants sometimes, do you guys want more of those or no? <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just gonna say this. If you find yourself just like literally, I just did this. Okay, so this is not hypocritical um, at all. If you find yourself chilling watching TV or doing something where you're feeling like okay I could be doing being more productive then go do it because that's literally what I just did that's not hypocritical it's not just like it's not like I just sit around okay I am lazy sometimes but I was sitting in there and I was just like you know what I could record this Q&A today I have a bunch of questions people ask me I uh I get, I'm gonna go, you know, why not show them how I make my eggs and stuff and how I make it, that's really simple, I get it, like you guys don't know, need to know how to like make eggs and stuff. But I'm just saying that you could do better and you always could do better and I'm proud of you guys because I've gotten a lot of messages and a lot of comments and stuff saying that you guys are trying, that your New Year's resolutions are feeling great, you know, I'm just I couldn't be more proud of my subscriber base, and I absolutely love you guys, and thank you so much for watching this far into the video, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for episode four of the Daily Vlogs. Peace.